Hey guys, it's Jen and today I wanted to share with you my full makeup face, full coverage, really, really pulled together look that I do in literally 10 minutes. So this is really great if you're a mom or someone on the go and you just don't have a lot of time but you still want to look red carpet ready or at least date night ready in just a short amount of time. So if you wanna see how this look is done, Stay tuned and let's go ahead and get started. So to start off, I'm going to be using Clinique's Beyond Perfecting Foundation Plus Concealer. It's a pretty cool two-in-one product, so I'll show you guys my technique that I use. And I also wanted to say a huge thank you to Clinique for sponsoring this video. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. As you can see, it has this big doe foot applicator, so it makes it really easy to apply. And you can do it as a full coverage foundation, but you can also just use it exactly in the spots that you need it. So I'm just gonna dot this around my face pretty lightly because a little bit goes a long way with this stuff. So just one dot there, one swipe down the nose, chin, swipe, swipe. Now I'm just going to use it sort of like a regular concealer and really spot the areas where I have some extra discoloration, just things peeking through. One of the good things about this product is you don't have to worry about it drying too quickly. You have a lot of playing time. Also, when it goes on, it gets a little bit darker at first, but as it dries, it sort of adjusts to your natural skin color. So you do have some flexibility in between the shades and it dries down to a really nice satin matte finish. Because of the texture of this product, it's so, so easy to get that really nice, perfect looking skin, full coverage kind of look. Next, I'm gonna be moving on to my eyes. So I'm just going to do an eyeshadow primer as always. And then I'm gonna be taking any kind of sort of sparkly lid color. Today I'm using Pink Pearl from Jouer. I'm just really quickly swiping that on the main part of each of my eyelids. And I'm taking a little fluffy brush in a medium neutral color, popping that in the eye socket right above the sparkly color. So I'm using this single color, not just as a transitional neutral shade, but as the contour shade as well. Now I'm just taking a large fluffy brush with a light colored shadow, popping that under the brows, and then taking a brown eyeshadow and using that instead of an eyeliner on my lower lash line. Speaking of eyeliner, we're gonna do that next. This is the Bare Minerals Lash Domination. I feel like this one's really great because it doesn't smudge all over the place. I've mentioned before during my pregnancy, my eyes seem to be extra leaky and these have been doing a really good job of keeping that at bay. If I do a bigger winged line, it makes everything look a little bit more pulled together. Now I'm going to move on to the brows and I'm just taking a brow pencil, mostly because you don't have to use any additional brushes or anything, which I'm a big fan of when I'm short on time. And for this, I am also going for a slightly fuller brow look, but in a lighter color, maybe one shade lighter than you would think you would use. It still gives you that full brow feeling without looking too overpowering for your face. Next, I'm going to move on to my lashes. We're going to add mascara and of course, some false eyelashes, which totally up to your personal preference. I love using lashes as a really sort of quick way of looking very put together. Next I'm moving on to blush and instead of using a separate blush and bronzer, on days where I just want a really quick routine, I go for a neutral kind of blush color because I feel that it can work as both contouring and blushing at the same time. So I'm taking this third one right here and I'm starting at my ears and I'm just gonna tap this forward. Just like that. See how it gives that bit of contour? And then finally, to pull the whole look together, I like using a liquid lipstick. I love using a really bright color on days when I want to use less effort but look like I put in a lot of effort because it just gives that very full presentation kind of feeling. So the good thing about liquid lipsticks is they last like all day, so you don't really have to worry about it more than when you apply it. Which again, if you're a mom on the go or just don't want to reapply 
multiplier lipstick, it's a really great option to try out. I've been particularly obsessed with this easy to wear red lipstick lately and it's from Jouer, it's called Watermelon. So I guess that is about it for my full coverage, very pulled together makeup tutorial. If you only have a little bit of time, I really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you want to see any more information about that Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation Plus Concealer, I will leave a link for that in the info box down below. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. It is our first day in Hawaii for our baby moon. You can see my baby. I don't think anybody has a really easy pregnancy. We just are really tired and it's really hard and you kind of do it anyway.